problems. They snatched famous and a bag with the money in it. What? Italian problems, me. And I'm hearing that you got connects to them. Sound like to me, you owe you, and you owe me. Red ass bag. This might be just what you need. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark. And I'm back with another video if you're new. If you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now tonight we're going to be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Canaan Season 2, Episode 6. This is the final predictions. So down below I want you guys to give me your final predictions for this next upcoming episode. It is about to go down. Now the title of the episode is called It's a Business Man. And the description of the episode reads, Rock assures everyone they need to follow orders and keep working as planned. Kanan takes on more responsibility, but things go wrong when he runs into neighborhood kids. Lou feels the pressure in his partnership with Crown. So those are the key points of this next upcoming episode. Like I told you guys, leave it all down below. Y'all let me know exactly what y'all think is going to happen. We know Kanan going to get the strap from Palomar. And we're going to see if he's going to be able to get what was stolen from him from the neighborhood kids. And we're going to talk about that in this video. Now we will be going over some of the promotional pictures that they put out this week and then we're going to go over the trailer one last time to get those final predictions so let's begin in this promotional picture right here we can see paula Mar, she's touching kanan on his face most likely this is when she's going to give him the strap we know kanan really likes paula Mar, right he wants to clap those cheeks and it seems like paula Mar, she just may let him and it seems like paula Mar wants to be down for the cause but as i told you guys i don't necessarily trust her at all I mean I guess we don't trust anybody but she's moving kind of funny to me yes she's trying to help out but I still think it's kind of weird that she wants to be around the young crowd we got to see what else she's up to I'm gonna tell you right now if Kanan has learned anything from season one that is he needs to move a little bit smarter around females that he's attracted to he cannot let you know his attraction get the best of him now in this promotional picture right here I mean I want y'all to leave y'all caption what y'all think this is about well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm pretty sure Rock is lying again. That's exactly what I think is going to happen. She's lying about something, but we know Kanan is looking like he's going off. So you already know they're going to be getting into it. I can't wait to see it. Your boy Ro Rail, hopefully we can be smoking on that pack soon. This guy is slippery and, you know, we don't really see him that much in the trailer. So I'm hoping somebody smokes him. Now, seems like your girl Jukebox going to be kicking it with her mom, Kenya, having a good old time mother and daughter we know marvin ain't gonna like this and marvin is gonna have a conversation with kenya in this next episode and speaking of marvin and kenya i dropped the exclusive clip um earlier on in the week for you guys y'all saw it between marvin and kenya we have mixed reviews a lot of people that was back in marvin they said hey marvin ain't the perfect dad but he was still there for his daughter when he could he didn't leave some say Kenya is trying to, you know, get back into her daughter's life and try to do the right thing. I also seen some people say that Marvin, he ain't got no room for talking based on some of the things that he's done to Jukebox. So go back to that video, read those comments, man. A lot of you guys was going in on both of these characters. I mean, I think it's still some more, you know, story behind this and why she left. Um, my thing is she left for 10 years and came back, you know, so her trying to get back into her daughter's life. You know, hopefully it can go well, but still, it's understandable why Marvin in Rock will be pissed off. I mean, you leave for 10 years, then when you do come back, you don't even hit jukebox up. Something's not right. But knowing how Rock is in, you know, some of the things that she's done in her past, I just got a feeling there's more to the story, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole Kenya thing. And do y'all believe it's more to the story? And we talking about just based on what Kenya has stated, talking about she was scared and stuff. I got a funny feeling there's more to it than her just being scared. And hopefully we get that reveal in this season. Now, in this picture right here, we can see Detective Burke. And she thirsty. She thirsty for any type of information on Detective Howard. And she's going to continue to press the attack on whoever can give her information. But as I stated in the past, we know people like her, what happens to them. You know what I'm saying? They end up not breathing. So Detective Burke, I guess, enjoy it while it lasts. Now, we can see your boy Famous and Kanan kicking it, probably about to get out there and hustle, or this can be after everything has went down. Now, we see Crown Camacho. You already know what he's going to be on. Crown going to be on that mess. And each and every episode, 
He is getting into it with Lulu, which to me is just asking for trouble. So we're going to see what Crown is going to do and if Crown, once again, can survive another episode. Now, we can see Rock and Marvin, most likely she's pissed off about something, probably the Italians, right? And most likely she wants Marvin to help handle the issue. So we're going to see about that as well. Now, let's go over the trailer one last time to give those final predictions for episode six. We already talked about how Kanan and Famous are going to get caught up by the boys. Now, we know Famous, he's too slow. He gets caught, right? Now, I did see some of you guys mention that y'all believe Kanan was lying to Marvin. I don't know if he's lying or not. He did tell Uncle Marvin that the boys took famous and they took the money that they had right we know Kanan does get robbed in this episode so is he lying to Marvin about the money you know what I'm saying did the boys actually take the money or was it the kids that took the money that robbed him in this trailer as well we're going to find out at the end of the day we know Kanan he will lie too we know Rock is a liar but we know exactly where he gets his lies from but Marvin he's like look I ain't getting into it with you you know what I'm saying as far as helping you out and getting involved in your mess so I'm expecting Kanan to go out there and get the job done himself now my final predictions for Rock Unique this whole storyline I believe this is all a part of Unique's game plan to get Rock back in that way he can come up with the you know final game plan to take her down and since Rock knows about the Italians and that Unique has that connection to the Italians, I'm pretty sure Rorel opened up his mouth and told her some information, which if that is the case, I don't think things are going to end well for him. But we're going to find out if that's going to happen. But Unique is probably happy like, man, see, now you need me. This is exactly what I wanted. If you think Unique is just going to sit there and just work with Rock, even though she's talking about you owe me, I'm telling you right now, Unique ain't about to do that. He's going to play his position. He's going to do whatever it takes to get back to the top. And if he has to, you know, help out Rock a little bit just to get an advantage, that's exactly what he's going to do. Now, Lulu, let's talk about Lulu. Final predictions for him. Y'all let me know. Do y'all want the old Lulu back? Is he acting kind of soft? Now, I was kind of giving him a pass, but once he gave that song away to Zisa, that was a problem. But then again, I can understand that Jukebox will get the writing credits and whatever, but still, like, come on. It's the principles behind it, right? Lulu is taking his music thing very serious. We know in the description it states that he's going to feel the pressure in his partnership with Crown. On top of that, we got Rock all in his ear telling him like, look, I might as well go ahead and accept the fact that you don't really want to be in this no more. And if that is the case, which it is because Lulu don't want to do this like that no more, he's going to suffer those consequences. I don't think it's going to just be that easy for him to walk away. He needs the money to you know, support this whole music thing. And if Rock cuts him off, you already know, he's gonna have some issues, y'all. He's gonna have some issues with that whole music thing and him depending on Crown to finance anything, we already know that's gonna be a problem. So y'all let me know how y'all see it ending for your boy Lulu in this episode. Now, let's talk about the three guys that's gonna rob Kanan in this next upcoming episode. I talked about them in my What to Expect video. I was going in on them. You know what I'm saying? I was going in on all three of them. Now, the guy that I said looked like Chris Rock, he hit me up. He said, oh, hell nah. He ain't having it. But now nah, he was cool. His name is LeVar Lewis Jr. He's, of course, an upcoming actor. He's doing his thing in this next upcoming episode. He even mentioned a lot of people state that he does look like Chris Rock, but it's all love. Ain't no, no issues with that. But he wants everybody to tune in to this next episode to see what happens. So shout out to him. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Welcome to the Power Universe. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, Kanan doesn't do anything to you based on, you know, y'all robbing him and him getting that strap from Palomar. Well, I guess we're going to see what ends up happening, but we know Kanan is definitely probably going to seek revenge. And we talked about Palomar telling Kanan, like, look, I think this is what you need or whatever, giving him that gun. This could end bad for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because we know when Kanan get guns, usually bad things end up happening, right? And do y'all think it's cool for Paula Mar to give Kanan this strap? And can she be trusted? Which I already told you guys, no one can be trusted. But seeing that Kanan just met her and she's giving him this strap, I don't know about that, y'all. I, I still got some questions about her character. Yes, she does look good. And I know Kanan, he want to get up in that. He want to clap those cheeks. But he has to make sure he's making the right move this time around because these people, they plotting and planning, man. 
Your girl Polymar can be plotting the plan in her daughter, Korean. I mean, come on. They got to be watched. You know what I'm saying? They got to be watched. Kane has to make sure he does not slip up. Now, I already talked about those guys that robbed Kanan. A lot of you guys were talking about maybe it's a connection to Breeze. And as I always tell you guys, I will believe the whole Breeze thing when I see it. But up until then, I'm not believing Jack because we continue to get all these fan theories about Breeze and we still waiting for those theories to come true. And what's going to happen to Tony Deep Throat? Will Marvin finally take her out? Will he do something to her, her fiance? I got a feeling Marvin going to do something crazy. I don't know what he's going to do, but for him to follow and, you know, watch her moves, I got a feeling something is coming up and we should get the conclusion of what happened to Marvin at the end of episode five when the boys that was watching him, right? So we're going to find out very, very soon. But I want to thank you guys for all the love, all the support. I will be dropping the quick thoughts, early impressions after this episode airs. So you guys stay tuned for that. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.